Good morning from the CSS News Museum. Today we are going to be learning about archaeology with our intern Samantha Bernard. And these are our students today that are going to be learning about archaeology. Hello. All right. So first of all, audience, students, what do you think archaeology is? I'm not sure. Any thoughts? Finding old stuff. Finding old stuff. That's pretty good. Um, archaeology is the recovery and study of items and structures left behind by human beings of the past. So archaeology specifically studies human being remains. So a lot of people often think, hmm, archaeologists, dinosaurs, very wrong. That's a paleontologist. So we'll learn a little bit about paleontology because they do share some similar things with us. A, paleontology, a paleontologist studies fossils of plants and animals such as dinosaurs. A geologist who also shares similar techniques with us studies the history of the physical earth including rocks and landforms and finally a historian studies the past events of humans in specific times and places. An archaeologist will use techniques from each of these fields and especially lean on his, the use of historian hist historical research. So today we're going to learn a step-by-step -step, um, understanding of what an archaeologist does. So the first thing we do is plan, 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 plan. So that's the biggest thing. Step one will be site selection. We can't just go to any site and say, we're gonna work on this site. We have to figure out what site we're gonna work on and why. What that means is we have to do research prior to going to the site. Um, this could be land research where we just walk out and maybe we see something that looks older or this can be we've been doing historical research and we happen to come across something and we're like hmm, let's go and try to track that down so we will research um, either physically or in in the building reading through books just what a lot of archaeology is we do a lot of book research first and then the next thing we need to do is figure out what the laws are in the area that we're working so sometimes if we work internationally, we have to figure out what the international laws are because the whole point of archaeology is that what we find does not belong to us, it belongs to the general population. It is the, the history and archaeology of everyone, and sometimes specifically certain people. So laws like NAGPRA, Native American remains belong to Native Americans, for example. So step two is site survey. So once we figure out where we're gonna go, we actually go there. We take some basic measurements. We might take a couple test pits. So we'll dig a small one by one hole and kind of see what we're looking at so that we know where to dig and what our plans gonna be. Because we can't just go out and say, we're gonna dig here and then you dig there. You have to write a whole report explaining why you're gonna dig, where you're gonna dig and what you're looking for. Then we do an excavation. An excavation is probably the most exciting part of our research, but it's not the most important. It's of course how we get our physical evidence of, of being an archeologist, but it's not necessarily the most important. It also often takes the longest amount of time. So depending on the site that you're working on, your tools will differ. So some sites are gonna need heavy machinery. You're gonna have to dig super deep uh, so you'll need heavy machinery, and now it's raining, oh my gosh. So you're gonna have to get heavy machinery, machinery to dig really deep, or sometimes you're gonna use small tools. So land archeologists will use small tools, like trowels, but sometimes they will also use shovels. And even in underwater archeology, span we use trowels and shovels. Um, underwater archeology, span we might use paintbrushes, 